you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this demonstration, I'll go over some of the new troubleshooting tools using the Unleashed mobile app. When you log into the dashboard, we'll see a home screen similar to this. The first demonstration will show client connectivity. So I need to go to the client menu and I need to select a client and I'll select this Android. And you'll notice here that it gives me details on the client and next to the MAC address there's a little square and if I tap on that it'll say that the MAC address is copied. So now if I go to the three bars in the upper right hand corner and I go to my troubleshooting You'll see here that we have a number of things. We have SpeedFlex, Ping, Trace, Client Connectivity, and Shared Logs. Client Connectivity and the Shared Logs are the two new features. So I'm going to click on Client Connectivity, and I'm going to hold my pointer down, and I'm going to paste, and that will put in the MAC address of that Android device. Then I will press Start, and I'll get a confirmation. It says the diagnostic test will be starting now. The client will be Disconnected temporarily. Are you sure? So I'm going to say yes. And it'll go through and start doing a connectivity test. First is the client initiated request to the AP. Next is the client is authenticated with the AP. Then the client is associated with the AP. If that works, we'll get a check mark. Next, it shows the user credential authorized. And finally, the client got an IP address. So that shows that we have successful client connectivity. If for some reason one of these steps wasn't completed, that will give you some indication of where you might need to troubleshoot. Now we can export these logs, so I'm going to export the logs, and I can export them in a number of ways, email, Dropbox, or whatever. I'm going to add them to my Dropbox and I'm going to add it to that. And then if I want to take a look at that, I'd have to go to my Dropbox. And if I go to my Dropbox, this is the log that I just recorded and shared. So if for some reason I don't understand all this cryptic stuff, I could send this to tech support at Ruckus, and they could go through this and analyze it for me. Let's go back to the app. So what I've just done is shared the logs. Now I have another function on here where I could share the logs, so I could tap on that and I could download those logs and it says your system logs are ready do you wish to send them now and I'll click yes and once again I could select my Dropbox and add them to it it says it already exists because this is the one I just exported before in the example that I just showed so you see there's two ways to do this I could share the logs or when I run my client connectivity test I can share the logs after the test is run Three other troubleshooting tools that we have that we've had before are SpeedFlex, Ping, and Trace. So if I want to run a SpeedFlex test, I would tap on that. And I have a choice. I can go AP to Client or I could go AP to AP. Let's select AP to AP. I tap on that. I go Next. Now here I would select the two APs that I want to do a speed test. So I might have 10 or 15 or 20 APs here. In this case I only have two, so I only have two choices. So I'll select my R500 lab, which is my mesh AP, and I'll select my ruckus AP. So then I would tap on my R500, and I would tap on my root AP, and then I would press next. And it'll go ahead and do the speed test. Now since this is a mesh AP, my speeds aren't going to be exceedingly fast. So the download was 21.72 megabits per second. And we're doing the upload now, and that was 24.58 megabits per second. So I could restart, or I can go back. And if I want to test an AP to a client, I could select that and hit Next. And I'll go with my root AP, and I'll hit Next. And now it'll run the speed text between the client that I'm using and the root AP that I'm connected to. So here we've got a little bit faster speed. Our download speed is 60.33 megabits per second. And our upload is about the same speed. So that's an example of how you can run the speed test. I could do a ping or a trace. So let's do a trace. And I could put in the destination IP address here. 
And I'm going to put in the Ruckus public IP address of 52.36.213.56. And then I'm going to hit Trace. And it'll go ahead and execute that trace. And I would go ahead and do a trace if I wanted to find out what routers and what gateways and, and so forth that I was going through. So I can stop that, clear it out. And I could also do a ping, and I could ping the same address of 52.36.213.56. And then I could press on ping, and it'll execute the ping. And it says, in this case, that it was reachable. So if for some reason you were suspecting that you were having connectivity problems, you could just do a simple ping test. So this completes a short demonstration covering some of the new 200.6 troubleshooting tools using the 200.6 Unleashed mobile app. Music